the first person that popularized a theory as to why endometriosis was there was a guy called Samson, and he was working in Boston, the US. And in 1927, he believed that some of the menstrual flow that should go out through the cervix and out through the vagina to the outside world goes backwards through the tubes and seeds the pelvis with endometrial type tissue that grows into endometriosis. The problem with that, 90% of women have a degree of retrograde bleeding, but only 10% have endometriosis. It doesn't explain why we find it in newborn babies. It doesn't explain why we find it in prepubertal girls having laparoscopy before they've even had a period or women born with congenital absence in the uterus. And it doesn't explain why everyone doesn't get it back automatically if they've had surgery to remove endometriosis. In truth, it's probably there from birth and doesn't really wake up until you have your first period. It's probably due to an abnormal differentiation of tissue turning into the wrong tissue in the wrong place. Every cell in the body is what we call totipotential. It could become anything. Think of it a bit like a computer and you've got to choose what that computer is going to do. If you are in the middle of a database and it flicked into Word, it will cause problems. That's the best way I can describe it, is that something has switched on the wrong program within the cell become the wrong tissue in the wrong place. And that's probably the most widely believed view among the medical profession.